again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You'll get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Push! Don't push something so heavy. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look! These things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Noct. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. You rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Hold the phone. Is it just me, or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally next door. 
Looks that way, on a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. That's learning the hard way. Always keep an eye on the dash. Wait until the Marshal finds out. We'll never hear the end of it. Oh, is that what Kor was going on about? He just... Hey there! Y'all kept a girl waiting! Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom-to-be, here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you... Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Well, howdy! A moment, Noct. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa.
Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. Excellent work. On we go. They aren't gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Allow me, haven't you ever heard? The best offense is a good defense. Watch the enemy's movements. Don't yep, right. Got it. Good. No big deal. Watch yourself, Norbert. I know. All right. We'll be done in no time. Let's get on with it. So, uh... Where are we headed, anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it! Almost there. Give it your all. All of them. trying to catch him off guard. You're on fire today. No big deal. Not on top of it. You like that? Solid. Yep. Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that sh uh. Eyes forward. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> What's this? Knocked! Get out of here! 
You okay? <sighs> we are now. Spoke too soon. Remember, <laughs> just as scared of us. Easy as they come. I'll say I'm late. What can I say? You're out! And on we go. Right. Hey, what about the shack over there? Not yet. I've got a plan. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's, um, bit heartless. in here the man of the hour Dave right <laughs> been looking for you didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble I'm being stuck here on account of my sprained ankle yeah something funny about them varmints I gave them hell but couldn't finish the job still one mean mud about well y'all don't look much like hunters but what do you say put that puppy to rest for me Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. Phew. For a second I thought you were gonna forget to ask for cash. I've been hunting for years, but I ain't never seen dual horns with blood red tusks like those. Oh. It would be wise to rest up before we set out. case let's find a spot to make camp the hunters are really out in full force around here huh so they're the new crowns guard or something similar though technically a civilian outfit they've definitely seen a lot more action than we have uh 
Is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. And here we are. Let's call it a day. All right. Now we'll pitch the tent. That's boss. Come now, it's nothing special. Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong, and Sid'll stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car, and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. <clears throat> Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait 
a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Shabu's boss! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two? Bring it! Here goes! Oh, hey! Ignis! Instructions! Bring on the next one. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken? Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So... Who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he's in the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. Feels so sluggish. Yeah. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Would well, explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh, pretend you're walking to the car. You're here. Sorry, 
about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure. Why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Everything in order? Yep. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. for a minute. Yeah, my throat's bone dry. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money. Thank you. 